Welcome to November's newsletter. Um, we've uh, shown you the quick video before previously of the Screaming Eagle Stage 2 cam, um, which is around 8.30 fitted, which is a great value for money. Um, but here is the best of the best stuff um, on Gordon's uh, Street Glide Special. We're fitting the SNS um, cam chest kit, which includes pump, plate, lifters, the, the, the whole trimmings. Um, with a 465 cam, because I'll get that wrong in the video. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Hi, my name's Matt, this is Matchbook Custom, and today we're fitting an SS oil pump, cam plate, lifters, uh, and a 475 cam. On this beautiful Street Glide Special. I love this bike and I wish I could afford one. So we've got the exhaust system off, we're going to take the air filter off, cut the push rods and get into the cam case itself. Um, give us half an hour and we'll get to the next part. Okay, so before I cut the push rods, I thought I'd just show you the kit that Gordon's gone for. It's the uh, power package. So we've got the 465 cam, the SNS high flow oil pump, the high flow cam support plate, um, the performance lifters, a new SNS tensioner, the uh, tappet cuffs. Um, if you know about the uh, the Milwaukee 8 plastic tappet cuffs, they have issues with those. Um, obviously, the gasket kit and then the adjustable push rods. So before I cut these, I'm gonna stick the tappets inside a vacuum chamber to get the insides all nice and lubricated and full of oil. So all you need to do is make sure that the lifters are covered, uh, pop the last one in, stick the lid on and suck. Okay, so uh, everything's out. I haven't changed the inner cam bearing yet, but we just, as a matter of a uh, good good practice, we're going to check the uh, the crank run out. I'm so gone. No, I'm never turning back. I won't stop on the fight until there's nothing left. It's so wide. You're gonna be hurting back. Okay, so as you can tell, the crankshaft within was within spec. Probably one of the best I've seen. And now we've got to pull out the inner cram in a camera bearing and then rebuild the uh, the cam chest case when i hate i attack so as you can see it's all back together the pumps in the cam support plate the the lifters the adjustable push rods and then we fitted the black and chrome push rod tubes i've just got to bang the exhaust on air filter on and run her up and then i've got to service it and we'll do that tomorrow So why the 465 cam? Um, the 447 cam is the Screaming Eagle Torque cam and the 475 cam is quite a popular one. The 475 cam seems to be a bit lumpy in traffic. Um, the better the fueling, the smoother it becomes. Um, the 465, it goes from, one second, 74.17 on the power to 94.94. And on the torque, it goes from 93.20 to 114.38, um, making it ideal um, low end torque cam for a touring model. Game like it's nothing, I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! Well, we've had issues with um, oil flow, cooling, and pressure. The more miles that have been putting on these M8s, the the more problems that we're seeing. Um, one of which is cooling via the piston jets. Now, the piston jets have their own issues from the factory. Um, scavenging is one of the issues that were on the early M8s that should have been sorted out on the later M8s, but everybody seems to be getting oil blowback and all sorts of issues anyway still. Um, 
And if you think about it, the bigger, the higher the flow, the more oil volume being moved through at the same pressure just provides more lubrication and um, better cooling. Reduced valve train noise, uh, better tolerances on leak down and superior performance at high RPM. Why the cuffs? Um, I haven't seen this problem yet, but um, uh, there's been reports of the, I think they're made of plastic, the uh, stock tappet cuffs are distorting uh, and therefore causing issues. Um, these uh, billet aluminium ones um, won't do such a thing. So that's job done and thanks for watching. See you in December's newsletter.